So it, it works out great for everybody. The yeah. situation has dramatically improved since um, the conversion. And not only that, but it's improved to the overall look of the area because the management company that came in and is now managing that parking lot made a lot of major improvements by paving right. it and uh, restriping it. And so it just overall looks, it looks a lot better. So the message is come to Kaimiki to eat and shop and, and visit your professional services and uh, there will be parking available. Thank yes. you very much yes, for that. Yes. <laughs> now, um, I hear tell of um, Halloween parades and Easter um, egg hunts. And so tell us a little bit about your current activities. Well, uh, the next event coming up on April fourth will be our Easter egg hunt. Um, all of the community participates in it. We have senior citizens that help the Kaimiki Park staff stuff the plastic Easter eggs and uh, we, we set them out for the kids of different age groups to go and find eggs. There's goodies in there, you know, and, uh, and a couple of the eggs, uh, they do put some certificates in there, so um, that's the that's the Easter egg hunt. And we have a, a bunny that's dressed up that walks around. And then there's also some, uh, uh, I think the Lions group and someone else has games with prizes. Um, then we have the Halloween costume contest, uh, which you well know because you are mm -hmm. Lady Liberty, the Statue of Liberty. Oh, well, I have a costume, a Statue she of Liberty a costume. <laughs> so I always get to uh, MC the event and that's, a lot of fun. Right, and we have the Royal Hawaiian Band that comes out and plays and uh, um, she emcees the events and that's that goes by age groups too. Mm -hmm. We have prizes by age groups. Best costume, best um, creative, creative, most creative. Scariest. Scariest and we have usually we have politicians being the judges. District uh, uh, elected officials. Right. Mm -hmm. They all turn out. Well, what about the parade, Denise? Um, well, the Christmas parade um, is probably one of the oldest town Christmas parades in Hawaii. It was. It actually started the same year that KPBA was formed, so it's over 60 years running that we've been um, organizing the event. Um, and usually in early December, um, we you know, shut down Wailai Avenue and we have a procession that marches from Chaminade University all the way down to Kokohe Avenue. And um, at the end of it, it we um, light a Christmas tree at the top of Kamiki Hill. And that oh, marks the end and the beginning of the Christmas season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a very large parade. And there's so many school bands that participate, St. Louis High, Kamiki, um, or Kalani is it? Kalani High? We even I have out-of-state bands yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Uh, I think we have somewhere in the neighborhood of 5,000 participants total. All the different groups that want to show themselves off, banks, businesses and so forth. I so see. it's a long procession. Mm -hmm. By the time the first group hits the top of the hill on Cocoa Head, the second group, the tail end of the group is just starting to come out of St. Louis. So it's it's an arduous uh, event because we have to stage the cars and the people on St. Louis's campus before we can actually start going out on, on uh, Wailai Avenue. It's very nice of them to participate and let us uh, marshal the parade there. And um, uh, I think it's um, uh, the uh, fire department and also participates and Santa always gets to ride on the big yeah, fire truck yeah. at the end. And we also have some beautiful queen uh, contestants, um, Miss Chinatown or Miss Narcissus Queen, right. or whatever, they always grace the parade. Yeah. And uh, it, it ties up traffic, but it is uh, a wonderful tradition. It is, you know, it brings the community together. A lot of times, because um, I, I sit in the car and I, I see the people up there lining the streets, um, the kids, of course, getting the candy. But the big thing I realized that one of the the people called me up and said, "You know that I have never seen my neighbor who lives in my neighborhood for over 
20 years and she was right next to me with her grandkids <laughs> so we kind of reconnected in the neighborhood you know and a lot of people from Kamiki reconnect because of that that parade itself because they all run down there with their nets to catch the candy and and bags and mm -hmm. so forth so it's a good thing it brings us together all the schools participate too the um, private and public schools in yes. the area yes and they come together and they march on mass right so uh, it's the participation level is simply wonderful it's also a very good night for the merchants and the restauranteurs yes um, it's a busy night to have so many people in the neighborhood so and I'm, I've got to say that the Kamiki Park is also an integral part of the community. And the playground staff has always been very cooperative in, in co-sponsoring co the Easter egg hunt and uh, the Halloween contest. Uh, it's the park on 10th, Wailai and 10th Avenue, uh, between 10th and 11th, actually. Right. So yes. mahalo to the um, Kamiki Park staff. 